This is the end of California as we know it, but it's going to shape the fabric of this country for decades to come. Bill Maher slams California's super high taxes, cites Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro as part of state's exodus. Quote, I feel like I'm living in Italy in the 1970s or something. Maher tells rep Adam Schiff, oh, liberal Bill Maher, you're so close. I was once a big fan of Bill Maher, watching real time all the time. It was a fun show to watch. I still think Bill's pretty great. I get annoyed by his Trump derangement syndrome. It's crazy to me that he can, he can be saying these things and just not realize what he's really getting at. Now, I consider myself to be liberal in the uh, traditional sense of American politics of our generation. What does that mean? I am not a classical liberal. Sorry, a lot of people keep saying it. It's not true. I've never been a classical liberal. I'm not one now. I agree with many tenets of classical liberalism, but I'm actually a social liberal. What does that mean? I actually like the idea of government social programs. I actually think we can pass laws to fix in, uh, inequality in this country. Let me explain what that means. I do not believe that these racist you know, policies being put forth by the intersectional left are going to solve things. A social liberal, as I, believes in things like the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Hey, you shouldn't be able to discriminate based on these factors. That means I believe that if, a, if there is a bakery and a gay couple comes in, you give them a cake. You service them. Now, to get specific on that, because I know people are going to complain, I'm not saying that you have to provide a specific message. That was the real complaint about the bakery and that whole lawsuit was that the baker said, I will give you any cake we have available, but I won't write that message. That's a speech issue. And that's an interesting conversation. And he won that. And you know what? I understand. I do kind of think you don't need to, you know, just because you're, you're writing something on, on a cake or whatever, I personally wouldn't take that as my speech. But I got to be honest. If someone came into my show and said, I demand you let me say certain really offensive things, I say, no, like I'm not going to let you come in and, and say certain things that would be harmful to what I believe in. And I think the left would agree with that. But as a social liberal, I think, uh, you know, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 is a good thing. And I am horrified by the fact that Democrats are trying to repeal California's Civil Rights Act. But anyway, more to the point. Joe, uh, Bill, Bill Maher is supposed to be right there with me on this, but he's so obsessed and, and, and his hate for Donald Trump. You can't figure out what's going on around him. Joe Rogan is not a conservative. Ben Shapiro is. We got bipartisan exodus from California, dude. Now, Bill Maher can point out cancel culture is insane. And here he is saying, I don't know what I'm getting for my taxes and people are leaving. Yeah, dude, it's because the policies have failed. Just because I think we can have social programs doesn't mean I think that the current system's working. There's, there's, at a certain point, we have to like uh, get rid of these programs and try again or change what we're doing. We can't just do the same thing over and over again. So I tell you this right now, at this point, in the next couple of years, considering the failures of the Democrats, you know what? I'm going to defer to Republicans. Yep, outright. You know why? Because I can recognize when I'm wrong. It's that simple. I still believe that there are many things you know, uh, about my, my views, my philosophies, my ideology that are correct. But considering the damage we've seen from, from New York to California and what these Democrat governors are doing, I'll tell you what, I recently moved out of, uh, uh, well, I, I, I still live in the New Jersey area, but I'm in the process of, of moving out and setting up this new studio, which is why we've been filming in the new location for quite some time. But I, I do still live in the South Jersey area for the time being. And I, I, I feel like if I move to a red state and, and a red area, I shouldn't bring those policies with me. I shouldn't. So check it out. Let me just show you a quick bit of this before I get into what, what's really going on. They say, during an interview with Adam Schiff, Bill Maher acknowledged that local issues were not the congressman's domain, but said he still felt the need to be a little bit, you know, complain. There is an exodus, he said. California businesses are leaving the state in droves. In, in 2018 and 19, which were economic boom years, 765 commercial facilities left, 13,000 between 2009 and 2016. Look, I came out here in 1983. I found paradise. I love California. I do. I don't want to leave. But I feel like I'm living in Italy in the 70s or something. Super high taxes, potholes in the road, fires. I don't know what I'm getting for my super high taxes. <clears throat> Bill, you're not getting anything. You're getting Adam Schiff complaining about Trump. But I guess that plays into your Trump derangement syndrome. So congratulations. The HBO star circled back to the idea of the exodus. 
Telling Schiff, people talk about this a lot now, and people are leaving. Like in my industry, Joe Rogan left, Ben Shapiro, Elon Musk talks about leaving. What do you say about that as a California rep? Well, I think we have to make every effort to make this a more business friendly state. Schiff responded. And I don't think there's anything incompatible with being progressive and also wanting to make sure that this place, this is a place that businesses can survive and thrive. (laughs) Oh, please, dude. No, I'm not buying it. Rogan, host of the popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, left the Golden State in August to Texas. Last month, Ben Shapiro went to Nashville. Okay, Ben Shapiro going to Nashville, sure, fine. Joe Rogan going to Texas. Mm, Oh, man. You know, there's a funny comic. It's Joe Rogan leaving California. And he's carrying a suitcase that says liberal policies as he's walking into Texas. And here we go, baby. From California Matters, how California expats are helping turn Texas into a battleground state. Helping turn Texas. They're happy about it. People are fleeing California because they're failed policies and then voting for the same failed policies in Texas. And this is why I defer to the locals when uh, I, you know, as I begin my move, I'm not going to come to a red district state or city or whatever and then be like, no, I demand my socially liberal policy. I'm going to be like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay out of this one because, you know, the place where I came from kind of didn't do all that well and I'm not going to contribute. So I'll voice my concerns over certain issues, but I'm going to mostly hang back. And look, I'm in a place, if, if I'm in a place that's really nice, I'm going to leave it to them. You know what I mean? Apparently, Ben Shapiro made a joke where he said something like, have, have them all rush into California. And then once the, the leftists have left California, all the conservatives can, can flood in and then turn California red, which would be kind of funny. But I tell you what, it's true. Texas is turning into a battleground state because people from California are moving to Texas. And it happened to Colorado as well. And that's going to be bad. Not because I think that Republicans are all, you know, 100% correct, but that I think we need a balance. We need a real conversation around, you know, what is the right way to, to move the country and a debate over ideas. We're not going to get that if we just have hordes of leftists flood in and then vote and then flip a state. The state needs to figure out for itself. One of the biggest problems I see with this, and, and, and look, you got to understand something. The, this, the, the, between states, there are no borders. And so that's one of the biggest problems we have is that people will immediately come into a new area and dramatically influence how that area functions without having been there and understanding it. So let's take a look at like the frack fields of North Dakota or whatever. For the most part, this is just an example of an area with a very specific industry. There are leftists who hate the frack fields. They say it's really, really bad. And they're huge, mind you. I don't know if they're still there, but I know it was a big issue several years ago. If you moved there as a leftist and then voted to ban fracking, you would just wipe out the town and you wouldn't know anything about the town. You wouldn't know what the frack fields do for those towns. And you'd be like, but fracking is bad. Therefore, you'd vote for people who would ban it and then there would be nothing and they would fall apart. So that seems like a really bad idea to come into an area where you don't know what the local industry is. You don't know where the economy is, what strengthens the economy and what the, the GDP is. And you're going to make all these votes on how taxes should be spent. And then guess what? The place you move to becomes as bad as the place you came from, which is why I think it's a serious problem. Now, I'll tell you this. In my opinion, I'm not going to move to I'm not, I'm, I'm not moving to Texas. I had a lot of people say, come on, come on down to Texas. Come to Dallas or Austin because so many people there. Oh, you got Joe Rogan. You got Crowder. You got Glenn Beck. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. First of all, I'm not going to bring my policies down anywhere I go. So it's not really relevant for the most part. I could go to Texas in that regard. But I don't want to go to Texas because all the California people are going there and and Texas is going to turn blue. I'm not going to move to a blue area where there's all these problems just to have more problems rise. I'm going to sit back and go to a red area and mind my own business, at least for the time being, until these cities and these states have a correction and get rid of the lunatics that have run them into the ground. There is an exodus from California. Bill Maher, liberal, is complaining about taxes. Something is not working. Y'all need to wake up. I'm not saying Republicans are doing it completely correctly, but I'm telling you, whatever is going on, something's happening pretty good in the Republican areas and really bad in the cities. Now, I know the left immediately says, yeah, but the cities are what generate, generates the, the, all, all the money. Not anymore. We can work remotely. And if that's the case, we're going to watch these cities crumble. But then these people are going to leave and they're going to work remote and bring their policies with them. Now, I'll tell you what. Ultimately, I don't care 
if, you know, people for Kamala Harris or whatever want to move to Texas and have a good time and, and, and vote how they want. I think that's just how this country works. I personally won't do it. And I don't want to move to an area that will do something like that. I don't know what the answers are. I don't know what the solutions are. I know that spending, you know, massive, having a massive tax bill that gets you nothing seems to make literally no sense. So, you know, I do like the idea that we will have people from cities moving into red areas for one reason, though, that people can come together. The one thing I really like about this Cal Matters thing, I don't like the idea of flipping the state's politics if you don't understand it. But I do like the idea that you'll at least have, because look, it goes two ways. The people from California will come and provide their perspectives to people in Texas. The people from rural areas will get to see a perspective from people from city areas. And hopefully the good remains. So if, for instance, this, this photo we have here, if these people come to Texas, I think they can share some very powerful insights and be a massive benefit to Texas. For one, new workers, new economic boosts, new demand. These are all really, really good things. Turning into a swing state can be bad because I think a lot of people might not understand how the GDP, how the economy functions in these areas. But I also think so long as we can make sure there is a rational argument and the, the, the state can maintain what's helping make it grow, it will be a major boon for this country. Why? Well, wouldn't it be awesome if these people, USC Medicine, Kamala Harris or the people, got to meet some Texas conservatives and share some ideas with them as well? I think that's just a big net positive. And that's what diversity was supposed to be, diversity of opinion. That is a really, really good thing. But if you only get a massive influx of people and there's no conversation and the state flips, well, now it's just being burnt down. I'm not for that, but I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I will see you all shortly.